Drivers in the Northeast Heights say a new traffic signal is causing more confusion on the road. The intersection is a hot spot for crashes. This year alone, there have been at least a dozen emergency responses at Tramway and Paseo, one of them a fatal crash. News 13's Gabe Chavez explains commuters are not satisfied with the DOT's recent solution. Gabe, what seems to be the problem? Stephanie, people I spoke with say they're, they're confused by the new traffic signal because there's no signs. They're left wondering if they can turn right on a red or wait until the light turns green. It's not really clear where you're supposed to stop. I know for me, I've almost been rear-ended because I've interpreted it to stop at the light and then merge into uh, the turning lane and other people don't think that I'm going to stop that, that soon. Typically, you can turn right on red unless the street sign says otherwise. This intersection does not have any signs explaining how drivers should approach. They say they need answers. Neighbors say that the signal is more than just confusing. It's actually leading to bigger traffic issues. It's still the volume of traffic is just so, so high. Uh, that's the reason for the backup and a lot of impatient uh, drivers. This isn't the first time we've told you about this intersection. In 2020, the state installed barriers creating a designated bike lane. But at the time, drivers said that it was creating a safety hazard. The DOT listened to their concerns and installed this signal as a solution. NMDOT used to have a yield sign at the intersection, but it was recently removed to help clear up any confusion. Back to you. Okay, Gabe, thank you. NMDOT says law enforcement is trying to educate drivers on the new signal. They say drivers should not turn right on the red.